Kung Fu Panda 4 is the recent sequel to the beloved franchise led by Jack Black as our panda with the heart of gold, Poe. Now right off the bat, I went into the theater with low expectations. After hearing the changes that were made to the cast and a certain actress that I'm not a fan of joining the fourth installment, let's just say that I wasn't too excited. People are pissed off that the Furious 5 aren't supporting characters here like the other films. And I will admit that I was very hesitant with this choice, but I gotta say, I honestly didn't mind this while I was watching the film. Poe has to learn how to take on his new role as the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace, and Master Shifu is adamant that Poe must find a successor to become the new Dragon Warrior. This is coming from somebody who's not an Aquafina fan whatsoever. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I thought she did a decent job here as the Fox Zen. She was one of the main reasons that my expectations for 4 weren't so high, but I must say that I thought she fit well into the story here. She plays a pickpocketing street smart hustler that eventually bands with Poe to take down the villainous chameleon, but without spoiling too much, that arc starts to twist and turn as we get to the finale. Again, I'm pinching myself, but I did not mind Aquafina here, and I usually do. James Hong and Brian Cranston come back as Poe's fathers, Lee and Mr. Ping, and I really enjoyed every scene that they had together. Poe's panda father, Lee, is usually reserved and doesn't seek confrontation, but after Poe goes on a quest to defeat the villainous chameleon, he bands together with Poe's goose dad, Mr. Ping, and they go on a foot journey to help their son. These two have great chemistry, and they gave me some of the bigger chuckles out of the movie. James Hong as Mr. Ping has always been one of my favorite characters out of the franchise. He's goofy and gives some of the more lighthearted moments for me. Ki Hoi Kwan, who I am a fan of, shows up as one of Zen's older mentors, who happens to also be a street smarter. And I would have liked to see more from this character. As much as I like Ki Hoi Kwan, I did think that he was underused. And I did feel the same way with a lot of the older characters from the franchise. Some of the previous bad guys show up, and I do like how they use Tai Lung. But every other previous enemy kind of feels there. Now while I thought the motive behind the chameleon was rather weak, I am a big Viola Davis fan. And I thought she did a good job with her voice acting. The chameleon dreams of learning kung fu and seeks the staff of wisdom that Poe carries so she can open the spirit realm and take the kung fu powers from all of Poe's past enemies for herself. I do feel that her motive could have been stronger, especially compared to villains like Lord Shen, who was absolutely terrifying in Kung Fu Panda 2. I liked Viola Davis here as the bad guy, but I felt the villain's reason to become bad was overall a bit weak. I did enjoy the action and fighting sequences, a little bit more than I expected from the fourth film. It's nearly non-stop, and it happens every other scene. The pacing is lightning speed for sure. I also like the animation and the overall flow of the movie. I will say, near the finale, there are some spots of shaky cam going on, and if you get motion sickness easily, I can see you having a tiny bit of trouble at one or two parts but I only had this problem near the very end of the film during the last battle. And it didn't make me feel this way throughout. Just a caution that I wanted to throw out there for anybody watching. While there is a tiny bit of heart scattered here and there, mainly dealing with the Fox Zen and Poe, I do wish that Kung Fu Panda 4 had a bit more heart to it, especially compared to the previous films, which have a ton of it. I love Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2. I consider them to be classics and I am on a side that does enjoy the third film. While I think this movie is my least favorite out of the franchise, I still surprisingly had a good time with it. You guys can call me crazy all you want, but I'm going to give Kung Fu Panda 4 a surprisingly light 8 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy Fro. What do you think about Kung Fu Panda 4? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you despise it? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Until next time, I'm on to the next review. Thank you for watching. Fro.